something or not. Hmm. All right, guys. It is another yuck, rainy, depressing, slit your wrist kind of day here in the end times. Here in my little seven foot by seven foot prison. But at least it's not cold tonight here, amazingly. It is a Wednesday night, December 7th, 2022. I have little moths flying around the outside light. <laughs> Where do these little bugs come from here in December? But anyway, at least I'm not freezing. I, I got that and on my side. So, uh, I was thinking of coming here. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not in a very, uh, my usual hilarious, humorous mode here tonight. Uh, I was thinking of coming over here and getting into a uh, broken record. Uh, well, it's good. A, a broken, I have so many broken record rants to choose from it. This was going to be my uh, broken record rant about my mama, Elaine Mitchell's favorite saying that no good deed goes unpunished. I was thinking of a no good deed goes unpunished story that I was going to tell, but uh, <laughs> I just don't even want to bring it up. And of course, my, my mama had a she had another flip side saying of that about the uh, no good deed goes unpunished is when you do a favor for someone, do it right. So, <laughs> you know, being stuck between those, I think, I think my mother's bottom line was just don't ever do favors for people. Uh, somehow, you're you're either gonna you're either gonna fuck it up, or the universe is gonna fuck it up. So anyway, I, I will save my uh, no good deed goes unpunished rant uh, for some other day. Ugh. So anyway, as when you know those rare moments when I'm not down here in my new bottomless well of doomer porn called medium.com, which is kind of pretty much where I spend my life now. I'm hanging out a lot on this channel. I, I might have I've done a rant or two about it. I just can't get away from this YouTube channel called Soft White Underbelly. Uh, good Lord, it's just, they're, they're, they're a little bit redundant. I have to admit, it, you know, this dude, uh, Mark, a lot, he's a photographer, a, a pretty well-known, successful uh, corporate photographer, Mark Lata, or Lita, L-A-I-T-A, however you pronounce that. But Mark has somehow gone down this rabbit hole and uh, with his again, very successful YouTube channel, just interviewing, you know, all of these, quote, unsavory characters that us good folks, uh, us good, hard work and normal folks don't like to think about in the soft white underbelly of, uh, of America. So I probably watch, I guess, probably three a day of these. And they're usually anywhere, they're, they're, they're anywhere, you know, the 20 to 30 minute interviews with all of these various uh, whatevers that, he, that he's interviewing. Uh, I actually e have emailed Mark to see if he wants to interview a doomer. I've never heard Mark interview a doomer. Uh, in the soft white underbelly, so I'm trying to get him interested in interviewing some of us doomers to, to uh, you know, to put us in there, lump us in there with whores and drug addicts, and uh, anyway, uh, we'll see how that goes, but it's kind of a standard 
it, a, a lot of times you'll notice if you if if you watch a bunch of these that he asks kind of the same questions. It's kind of a script that he that he's reading from, and one of the common questions that he asks towards the end of the interview, usually, you know, talking to all of these people, this, you know, societal misfits and whatever, he asked them the question, what is your biggest fear? What is your biggest fear? And uh, it, it's, it's funny because people never talk about the fear uh, they, they, well, no, they very rarely mention any sort of fear outside of themselves that they just automatically read the question, what are you most afraid of, of, of happening to you personally? Although that's not, the question is, what is your biggest fear? And uh, so I've been, uh, uh, you know, thinking about that. If Mark was interviewing me, I can expect the question for him to ask, "What is your biggest fear?" And he would probably expect me to say, "My biggest fear is that we're fucked," and uh, that, uh, you know, the planet we're fucked. The planet is fucked. Uh, every one of our fellow Earthlings is fucked. But, you know, I, I really don't say that that is one of my fears. And again, I, I, I probably had this rant before, because to me at least, the word fear somehow implies doubt. That you're not sure how something is going to play out. Uh, and so your fear is that it's not going to play out the way you hope it's going to play out. But so it implies some hopium in there. Uh, if, if, if you're afraid that something is not going to work out the way you hope it is going to work out, then that means you're still holding some uh, probably absolute, you, you know, completely ridiculous delusion that something is going to work out, you, you know, the way you want it to work out. And you know goddamn well it's not going to. So the, you know, the fate of the planet, there's no doubt in my mind. I, I use this term that uh, this friend of mine, she loves to use this about knowing on a cellular level. Okay, so I know with a capital K on a cellular level that we're fucked. That where that humanity's fucked, this global industrial civilization is fucked, uh, the entire species is fucked, and most importantly, the planet is fucked, uh, and, and of course, when I say the planet, I understand the fucking planet's not fucked. You fucking clueless morons. Talk to me, you know, every time someone, some doomer says the planet is fucked, the planet, the planet's gonna be just fine. E e e e e you know, shut the fuck up. You know fucking well what doomers are talking about when the, they say the planet's fucked. Anyway, I get so tired of that shit, and they, and they drag George Carlin. They always hold up George Carlin. Uh, it, 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 anyway, I'm not going down this road. I know the fucking planet's fucked. I have no fucking doubt the fucking planet's fucked. And there's not a fucking thing that any one of us are going to do about it. Okay? So there's no doubt. So it, it, it's not exactly like, am I afraid th the planet's fucked? I know goddamn well the planet's fucked. So if somebody asks me, if, if, if Mark Lotta asks me, well, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not that the planet's fucked because there's no fucking doubt in my fucking mind that the planet's fucked. Anyway, so with that, so what does that leave? Well, there's two things that... Uh, <laughs> 
that I am afraid of. There are two things that strike terror uh, into Hambone's heart. And of course, the number one is, and take a wild guess, boo the fuck who, uh, that uh, between now and the time I blissfully uh, go to bed and never wake up, is the fact uh, that, uh, you know, that I am going to be living the rest of my life alone without my Doomer chick forever, without my Dulcinea. Uh, and, and, and despite the fact that I'm 63 years old, I'm divorced, uh, I, I've, I've had how many goddamn girlfriends, every single fucking relationship I have ever had has either crashed and burned, or it's just more often than crashed and burned, just fizzled out into nothing. It's relationships, they're overrated, blah, blah, blah. But despite a lifetime of failure with women, my biggest, my biggest fear is that I'm I'm never going to find my Dulcinea, my Doomer chick forever. Well, I found my goddamn uh, Dulcinea, how long ago now? Three and a half fucking years ago. She's a fucking whack job. I don't know if she's dead or alive. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm assuming she's in a, living in a fucking rubber room sedated in a mental institution. Uh, you know, that's the woman that I chose to fall in love with and, and picked for my Doomer chick forever. Uh, and apparently tell the, that I will be uh, just, uh, you, you know, pining for a uh, at least borderline, probably full-on psychotic uh, psycho until the day I die. Uh, but not even counting that, that, that one, not even counting Dulcinea, who I will assume I will never uh, see again. Uh, it, it, you know, it's just the fact that the thought, uh, you know, I'm 63. Fuck, man, I could have 20 or 30 fucking years ahead of me. And, uh, you know, the little dog, I mean, he'll be around for, how many years are you going to be around for? So, how many years do I have with the little dog? Uh, you know, I do have a little dog, thank God, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that I am, uh, and, and it's just, but I guess... If it's a fear of mine, I, I see it, it, it still implies, it still implies that I am suffering from some fucking delusion, a, a, some psychotic delusion, A, number one, that I'm, that I'm going to find my mythical doomer chick forever, and, 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 and B, if, if by some fucking miracle I do find her, you know, that it's going to last. But Dulcinea, you know, when she was playing around whether she was going to leave her husband and her, you know, her comfortable home in suburbia, uh, whatnot, to come uh, be my doomer chick forever. But she predicted, she said, we will probably have three good years that uh, if I do this and, and you and I get together uh, as the Doomer duo, uh, it'll probably be fun for about three years, Hambone, and then it's all going to fucking go to hell in a handbasket. Uh, and, and I said, darling, I'll take it. I'll fucking take the three years. Uh, anybody, uh, that, 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 that bullshit question, is it better to have loved and lost or never to have loved at all? Uh, fuck, man. I, I would take a girlfriend for a week now, three years, uh, with what's going on on this planet. Hell yeah. But anyway, it implies that I'm still suffering some wacko delusion that I'm going to find this woman.
Uh, and that is going to last forever. Ain't going to happen, Hambone. So I'm getting a little bit, uh, you know, with each passing day, week, month, year, uh, that uh, I just, uh, that there, there's no sign anywhere on, uh, anywhere on the horizon that there is one woman uh, on a planet of uh, four billion women that, that have any fucking interest being hand on little tails, doomer chick forever. Uh, at some point, I'm going to understand on a cellular level that I am not going to find this woman. She doesn't exist. She is a figment of my imagination. And uh, once I reach that level and understand on a cellular level that I'm never going to find my doomer chick and that I am going to live alone uh, till, till the day I fucking die, it's not going to be a, so much a fear. I'm just going to move into acceptance mode. And it's just going to be, you know, the, the number one reason that I'm fucking uh, lonely, depressed, and miserable. Because uh, I can't find one fucking woman, uh, four billion women, four billion fucking women on this planet. You would think there is one out, out there. But anyway, uh, at some point, I'm going to get rid of that delusion, which brings me to my broker, broken record rant on uh, my, you know, my ultimate fear, and there's no chance that this is ever going to become cellular knowledge. And that is my fear of death. And the reason I am afraid of dying is because I am not 100% sure that when I die that the fucking lights go out and, and the curtain comes down and, and that's it. My, my single biggest, well, uh, neck and neck, since I've given up on, uh, you know, any hope for the planet, is finding my doomer chick forever for for the rest of uh, uh, of this pointless fucking ex existence, but the overarching one uh, is, is the the absolute. And it, 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 it is a terror that when you die, your fucking spirit or soul or whatever lives on, and that you do not just fucking go and I you know and and, and, and I, I I just I, I read this hear this all the time that the reason people are so terrified of dying is because they're afraid that it might be the end of everything. And I'm thinking am I the only motherfucker out there that my biggest wish on the on the goddamn planet even bigger than finding my doomer chick forever is that I that I go to bed tonight, I fucking go to sleep, and I just never the fuck wake up. The fucking lights go out, and this horror, this pointless, futile, depressing, lonely uh, existence comes to a grinding halt. Why would anybody, anybody? Want, uh, want eternal life, the very thought uh, of this pointless fucking futile existence never ending. And, and then, of course, it goes off and to do the two big things is the, the, the you know, the, the, the fucking afterlife. Uh, this on and on and on never fucking ending my fucking God, uh, could you imagine, I, I mean, 63 fucking years I, I've been dealing with this fucking headache. 
you know, dealing with this fucking never-ending uh, parade of fucking bullshit. Do you know I still have not uh, gotten this fucking pickup truck uh, registered? You know, it's just, it's just like... It's just like the fucking being stuck in, in the New York Department of Motor Vehicles for eternity. Uh, get it fucking over with. Why anybody, and, and then of course, uh, I mean, how many times have I said my number one biggest fear is being reincarnated on, 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 onto this fucking planet. Imagine, imagine. Uh, being born, uh, on, on uh, reborn on this fucking planet, you know, my God, it's just a fucking, I, I, I mean, 63 years of putting up with this fucking crap, and, and I, I imagine it, it either, either it never fucking ends, uh, on the other side, or you come back as a fucking rag picker in, in, uh, in Ghana. And that's what strikes terror into me. So, uh, anyway, if Mark, if I do get on soft white underbelly and Mark, uh, I really hope Mark asks me, what is my biggest fear? Because if he thinks it's the end of the fucking world, uh, he's got something coming. The end is, is my biggest <laughs> hope. Yes, little dog, I'll try to stick around until you go. Can you imagine... Uh, when this little dog goes, what the fuck that, you know, when, uh, when this little dog dies, it's gonna, you know, I mean, it's gonna be a dark day in hell. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this hilarious little uh, knee slapping video. Is that a mousey? Is that a mousey? You have a mouse to go attack. Get that mousey like that. Bye, guys.